What is up guys? I am back. Kind of. Maybe. Not really. I don't know. We'll see. But I did make a plugin and so I did want to put out a YouTube video just to at least show instructions on how to use it if anybody is interested. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to subscribe. As always, make sure to join the Discord as well. There's a link in the description as well as a link to the actual plugin. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to Spigot. I'll have a link in the description where you can actually download my plugin. Here you can see kind of what it looks like and what it is. It's all chat based. It's just a fun way for you to add, you know, achievements and goals and stats to your server. And you might be thinking, wait a second, M. Wester, that's not your name. Newsflash, it is. That's my original Minecraft username. As you can see, here's the stats that it shows. It'll show basically everything you do in the game. There's a bunch of different types of achievements that you can create with the plugin. You know, here's a, a list of the commands. There's not a whole lot. It's pretty simple to use. Permissions as well. I'll get into that in a little bit though. But yeah, let's just hop right into the actual server once you download it and we'll see how to add your own actual custom achievements. Okay, so I have remote desktop protocol and I'm using that to access the Linux box that's running my server. And so here I've got my Minecraft server. You don't have to be on Linux. This is the same for Windows or Linux. It doesn't matter. But uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your plugins folder. Once you've run the server once, it should auto generate uh, the actual data folder for Achievements Reborn. You see I've got 1.5.0 right here. That's the current build as of the time of filming the video. Uh, I do plan on updating it more, so it, it's probably going to look a little different but the general use should be the exact same. You see we've got data.yml. You can open this up. This is where the actual achievement data for each player is stored. You know, it's stored by uh, UUID. Each person who joins your server is gonna have their own little profile created in this document automatically. You know, you don't need to do that yourself. Uh, just don't delete this document. Keep this document, back it up, because should you lose access to the folder or should you accidentally delete the folder, that data will reset all of your player's achievements. So just make sure you save that somewhere. Now we're going to go into the actual config.yml. This is where you can create everything. As you can see, we've got achievements reborn. So we're going to start right off here under options. Um, some of the options are disabled by default. First one, enable player message. Whenever a achievement is earned, the name of the achievement will be sent via message to that player and only that player. Um, I don't really like this myself, but some people might. So by default, it is false. Uh, go ahead and enable that if you want it to be. Now the server message, that's pretty obviously just the broadcast that's gonna be sent out to all the players on the server. Most people want that, you know, kind of show off that you did something cool and earned the achievement. Reward commands, this is kind of where the money is. This command works with any other plugin that you have. So should you be using Essentials or Vault for economy, I could replace you know, this command with whatever I wanted it to be. Next up we have achievement sound, true or false, whether or not you want to play any sounds whenever they earn the achievement. By default, it's the rocket launch, so the sound of the firework. And then last we have debug mode. This is mostly for me, uh, just a convenience thing I have it in here. It, it's not going to change the plugin at all if you enable it. It's still going to work fine. It might slow down your server a slight bit though. The reason for this is it just, it creates new log entries on your server logs. Uh, just so that way you can see each process of the plugin happening in real time. Leave that false unless you know specifically you want it to be set to true. So here you can see the actual achievements. Uh, first up we have you know mob kill types and then for zombie we have different achievements here. And this is kind of the structure of YML. Mob kills is kind of the umbrella term here, the type of achievement. Under that we have subcategories. We have zombie, we have creeper, and then spider. And then under that you have milestones. So this is the number of times that the player must complete this task, in this case killing a zombie, before they earn the next achievement. The first one's at 25. The command that will be rewarded to the player is give that player one emerald. So whenever they kill 25 zombies for the first time, they're gonna get this achievement and they're going to receive one emerald. The message or the name of the achievement is zombie tickler. And then the broadcast message right here, the player has earned the zombie tickler achievement. And you can see I'm using the and symbol and then A for the green and then and four for red and L for bold. Uh, it does work with custom colors. so. You have to have those enabled though for it to work. After that, we just go to the next milestone, so 100. So after they kill 100 zombies, they earn the zombie hunter achievement. Now really quick, just to show how this actually works, you can see I'm on my server and it's nighttime. So I'm gonna come inside, I'm gonna come over here to bed, and I'm gonna sleep. And you can see first thing, because this is my first time taking a nap on the server, I've earned the good night achievement and I received my emerald. Next, to add your own custom achievements, we're gonna come back into the config. We're gonna scroll down to crops harvested for a good example. Uh, let's see, crops harvested. Okay, so you see we already have wheat, carrots, and potatoes, but I wanna add pumpkins to this list. So as you can see, it says here, 
add other crops similarly. So I'm just going to copy and paste potatoes and come down by one, paste it in, and boom, that is perfect. Now I'm only going to do two for this test, but I'm going to rename potato here to pumpkin. And for milestones, how many pumpkins do we need? Just for the test, I'm going to say we only need five pumpkins for the first one and seven pumpkins for the second. Now, we also want to experiment a little with these, or at least change the reward up a little bit. So I'm going to say give percent player percent. Uh, we'll give them an extra pumpkin and we'll say one. And we're going to call this achievement pumpkin farmer. Okay, and then same thing here. We're just going to change this pumpkin farmer. So now the message or the name of the achievement is pumpkin farmer. The broadcast given is player has earned the pumpkin farmer achievement. Next, whenever they hit seven pumpkins, I want to change the command again. This time we're going to do something different. We're going to say eco give percent player percent and we're going to say $100. And we're going to change this achievement name to pumpkin master. And same thing here. We're going to switch out the broadcast to be pumpkin master achievement. All right, and that's all you need to do. We're going to save our config and we're going to restart the server. Okay, so the server's back up and we are going to test out our new pumpkin achievements. So there should be two. One of we mine five pumpkins and seven pumpkins. So let's go ahead and test that out. You see I've got my pumpkins here. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see I have gotten the pumpkin farmer achievement. So now if we go into slash ACH view Pebu, we can see my own personal stats. So I've got you know, one achievement. I have the pumpkins harvested, five. Now let's see what happens whenever I add two more to that count. So one, and first actually I wanna show the balance that I have currently is 100. And then one more pumpkin and boom. I've achieved the pumpkin master. And you can see this other message here saying $100 has been added to my account. So you can see there, $200 total now. Quick breakdown for permissions for the actual plugin to work. Uh, for the default player, you're going to want to start by giving them achievements reborn.ach. That is the base level required for anybody who's going to be using the achievements in your server. And then after that, we have some additional permissions you can give for the specific commands. If you want to have them be able to do the list command, you know, you'll put in achievements reborn.ach.list. Uh, for the view command, that's to view any player stats uh, that's currently online. And then this one is a specifically admin account. Um, it is used to reset any player's uh, achievement progress. So make sure not to give access to this uh, command to any random player, but only to your admins and moderators. That is how to set up your custom achievements with Achievements Reborn. It really is that simple. As you can see here, though, there are no ratings as of yet. I would really appreciate if you came over to Spigot and rated it, or go ahead and comment down in the video below if you want to see more stuff like this. That's it, though, for the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry this wasn't really much of my normal playing Minecraft videos, but you know, I made this plug and I worked pretty hard, so I really hope you guys like it. And uh, who knows, I might actually get back into making some more videos. I know it's been a while, it's been about a year, closer to a year and a half, maybe two. And we'll see if I get the time uh, to actually make some more videos here in a bit. That's it, bye.